Hello students. Now the topic we are going to discuss is shock. Now for the purpose of simplicity and easy understanding, the topic is covered in three parts that is three videos. Part 1, part 2 and part 3. First video that is part 1 deals with introduction to shock and the different types of shocks. Part 2 that is the second video covers hypovolamic, cardiogenic and obstructive shock along with their therapy. Third video that is the third part cover all the three types of distributive shock namely septic, anaphylactic and neurogenic shock along with their therapy. This is the first video that is shock part 1. In this video, we will discuss what is shock, its clinical features and the types of shock. Now, shock is a state of circulatory collapse. That is a condition in which there is failure of blood circulation. Further, it is characterized by inadequate tissue perfusion. That is insufficient blood flow to the tissues. Shock is a life-threatening situation. Shock leads to inadequate tissue perfu perfusion that is uh, insufficient blood flow to the tissues which leads to reduced oxygen supply to the tissues that is tissue ischemia. Ischemia results in necrosis of tissue that is tissue death followed by organ failure which further progresses to multi-system organ failure. When we talk about the clinical features or the symptoms of shock uh, the initial symptoms of shock are hypotension that is fall in the blood pressure, weak rapid pulse, dizziness that is lightheadedness uh, or uh, unbalanced feeling, cool, pale, sweaty skin, weakness, fast heart rate, fast breathing, sweating, anxiety, increased thirst, oliguria that is reduced urine output. All these symptoms are the classical symptoms of shock and these symptoms are common to all the types of shock uh, due to reduced tissue perfusion. Worsening of situation if the shock remains untreated results in confusion, unconsciousness and cardiac arrest. Untreated uh, shock is in most of the cases fatal and it results in death. Let's now classify different types of shock. First type of shock is the hypovolamic shock, commonly called as low volume shock. Now hypovolamic shock is caused due to excessive loss of blood or body fluids. This results in inadequate blood volume and thus fall in the cardiac output uh, which results in low tissue perfusion. Hypovolamic shock in detail and its management is covered in the second video that is shock part 2. Second type of shock is the cardiogenic shock. Cardiogenic shock is caused due to dysfunction of cardiac muscles. There is low or reduced contractility of cardiac muscles which reduces cardiac output. Damage to the cardiac muscles is caused uh, due to heart diseases like for example myocardial infarction, congestive heart failure, arrhythmias and many more. Cardiogenic shock and its management is covered in detail in second video that is shock part 2. Third type of shock is the obstructive shock. Uh, there is obstruction of heart or its great vessels that is there is obstruction in the flow of blood primarily due to compression of heart or compression of great vessels like superior vena cava, inferior vena cava or iota. Now this prevents filling and ejection of blood resulting in poor tissue perfusion. Now obstructive shock and its management is covered in detail in second video that is shock part 2. Now fourth type of shock is called as distributive shock. Now, in this shock, heart pumps well, but there is extreme vasodilation. And this extreme vasodilation prevents distribution of blood to the tissues. There is a fall in the peripheral resistance because of vasodilation. Now, distributive shock is of three types. That is a septic shock, anaphylactic shock, and neurogenic shock. Septic shock is also termed as sepsis or blood poisoning. 
It is caused because of infection, primarily uh, due to infection by gram-negative bacteria. Now, endotoxins are released by the bacteria in the blood. These endotoxins are processed and chemical mediators are produced, which uh, results in vasodilation and that results in ischemia. Second type of distributive shock is the anaphylactic shock. It is a severe allergic reaction to allergens like drug, food, uh, insects, venome, etc. There is excessive release of histamine and this histamine causes vasodilation and vasodilation further reduces perfusion to the tissues. Third type of shock is the neurogenic shock and this neurogenic shock occurs due to spinal injury. There is injury to the spinal cord and that leads to loss of sympathetic vascular tone. Uh, there is excessive vagal tone which leads to vasodilation and subsequently poor circulation of blood to tissues. Now distributive shock, all the three types of distributive shock and their management is covered in detail in third video that is shock part 3. So this is all in brief uh, introduction to the shock and in brief uh, about the types of shock. If you find this session helpful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. You can ask your doubts by writing in the comment section. I will surely answer all your doubts. Uh, thanks for watching the video.